It's back to corporate actions again, where we're going to be discussing the key dates in corporate actions that are important for the custodian to know, for the hedge fund to know, as well as the investment banking analyst. Because these deadlines, these dates have to be adhered to before you can process any corporate actions. Hello everybody, I'm a learning partner, Sushila Hariharan. If you're interested in a career in fund accounting, corporate actions, trade life cycle, or OTC derivatives, then do subscribe to my YouTube channel because you will find content-rich research on these presentations. Let's take a look at the key dates that are there in corporate actions and let's follow this up with a real practical case study of what happens if a company, investment company, has announced two corporate actions with the same record date. Is that even possible? Okay, so let's dip, let's dive straight into this. The key dates in a corporate action and this perhaps is the most important content that you have to know. The first one is the announcement date. The announcement date is the date on which the company announces the corporate action. This announcement date is mentioned in the announcement of the corporate action, which is filed with the regulator. It is announced to the stock exchanges and investors will receive this as a notification in their emails as well as from social uh, as, as well as from financial media aggregators like bloomberg and reuters the second one is the x date the x date is the date on which there is no entitlement which is due to the investor that means the stock or the bond starts trading X dividend, X split, X bonus implies that there's going to be no entitlement. It's quite like in real life when we talk of, oh, she's she was my ex or he was my ex. No longer there. Okay. So entitlement does not accrue to the part to the securities holder if you buy the security on the X date. Okay. Depending on which markets that you're working on. Therefore, it's very important. Who calculates the X date? The stock exchange calculates the X date. The stock exchange on which the security is trading calculates the X date. And from that date, the security starts trading X bonus, X split, X coupon, etc. Then comes the record date. The record date is the date on which the transfer agent has to calculate who are the investors of the company and therefore calculate the entitlement per investor. This is the job of the registrar or the transfer agent as it is known in some countries in the world. So the record date is mentioned as a part of the announcement of the corporate actions. Okay, this implies that if the investor is holding the shares on the record date, then they will get the entitlement. All right. Therefore, the holder of the share, the investor must hold, must own the share on the record date. Okay. They could have bought any time, but on the, or they could have sold any time, but they must be owning the share on the record date. Then comes the payment date is the date on which the final payment has to be submitted to the investor. Before this, before I move on to the next one, there's a very important date and that's called as the deadline date, which is applicable for voluntary corporate actions. Voluntary corporate actions like tender offers, right offer, rights offer, etc. are voluntary in nature. They're not mandatory. They're voluntary. That means the investor has to act on them. And therefore, the deadline date is the date on which the investor must submit to the registrar or to the transfer agent what they intend to do within the merger or acquisition, in a tender offer, in a buyback, in a rights issue, etc. Okay, so these are the five most important dates that you will remember in corporate actions. Let's take a look at a case study of a company in India called ABC Inc. which has announced both a stock split and a dividend. Okay, this company has announced a stock split and a dividend with the same record date that is 14 September 2022. The question that arises is can a company announce both stock split and dividend with the same date? 
the answer is yes there is no limit as to how many uh, entitlements that that are announced by the company with the same record date okay there's no limit at all it's just a question of the ability of the transfer agent to process these entitlements okay so now the corporate action the executive then asks this next question which is what is the method of processing the voluntary uh, the mandatory corporate actions what should we do first should we process the stock split first or should we process the dividend first this is a part of a very large linkedin post that i had put up in um, uh my linkedin asking people what happens actually and then very senior executives working with hedge funds answered this question in a very simple manner they said the dividend is paid on the existing face value of the share therefore dividend payment is processed first okay after the dividend is paid out to the existing shareholders only then the stock is split because the face value of the shares is reduced once the dividend entitlement is calculated on the full par value of the stock then the stock is split at the end of the day the investor will have the same impact irrespective of which is processed first but if you are a transfer agent and you are processing both dividends and stock splits or stock splits and bonus keep in mind that the existing face value action will be done first and only then if there is any structural change in the face value that will be processed later thank you everybody for watching this video uh, if you keen on a career in investment banking operations fund accounting corporate actions otc derivatives do subscribe to my youtube channel and i also post in some very interesting quizzes on the community page participate in that as well thank you everybody for watching this video